Hi guys, this is IGCSC O level chemistry paper 22 March 2019 question 11. Aqueous copper to sulfate is electrolyzed using copper electrodes. What are the ionic half equations for the reaction that occur at each electrode? So at the anode we have oxidation taking place in which we would have copper metal being oxidized to produce copper ions and giving off two moles of electrons. And at the cathode we would have copper ions accepting two moles of electrons producing copper metal so these equations are present in option a the opposite of these equations are present in option b making them incorrect and option c and d do not have copper being produced at the anode or copper being uh, copper ions being produced at the anode so this eliminates options b c and d making option a the correct option for this question. Question 12. 10 grams of ammonium nitrate is added to water at 25 degrees Celsius and the mixture is stirred. The ammonium nitrate dissolves and after one minute, the temperature of the solution is 10 degrees Celsius. Which word describes this change? So from 25 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius is a drop in temperature, which is represented by an endothermic change in energy so endothermic is correct exothermic is wrong neutralization did not take place solvation took place reduction did not take place therefore option a is the correct option for this question question 13 hydrogen reacts with chlorine according to the following equation the reaction is exothermic which statement about this reaction is correct Energy absorbed for bond breaking is greater than the energy released in bond making. So, it is exothermic. That means the energy released in bond making is greater than the energy required in bond breaking. So, the energy absorbed for bond breaking is greater than so that would make this endothermic. So this is incorrect. Next, energy absorbed for bond breaking is less than the energy released in bond making. We should make this negative and we should make this the energy absorbed for bond breaking is less than the energy released in bond making. That would make this exothermic. Yes. So this is correct. Energy released in bond breaking Energy is not released in bond breaking, energy is absorbed. It's greater than the energy absorbed in bond making. No, energy is not absorbed, energy is released in bond making. Same thing for the next statement. Energy released in bond breaking is incorrect. Energy absorbed in bond making is incorrect. Therefore, option B is the correct option for this question. Question 14. Hydrogen oxygen fuel cells can be used to power cars. Platinum is used as a catalyst. The amount of energy produced per gram is shown for three fuels. For hydrogen, it is 143. For methane, it is 55. And for petrol, it is 44 in units of kilojoules. Gram of fuel per kilo. So gram per kilojoule. Which statement is correct and is an advantage of hydrogen oxygen fuel cell? Hydrogen is difficult to store. This is a disadvantage, not an advantage. Hydrogen produces less energy per gram than methanol or petrol. This is again a disadvantage. Platinum is rare and expensive. This is again a disadvantage. The only product is water. Yes, this makes the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell environmentally friendly, making option D the correct option for this question. Question 15. A student adds dilute hydrochloric acid at two different temperatures to two different lumps of limestone. The lumps of limestone have the same mass. The carbon dioxide gas produced is collected in a gas syringe. The volume of carbon dioxide collected in one minute at each temperature is shown. So if the temperature is 25, the gas collected is 40, uh, 10 cm cube and at 50 degrees Celsius, it is 40 cm cube. So, which row describes the, and explains the result obtained at 50 degrees Celsius compared to 25 degrees Celsius? The reaction rate would definitely be 
higher and not lower at a higher temperature. So this eliminates option C and D. And energy of collisions, since there is an increase in temperature, the energy of collisions would be higher. Eliminating option A and making option B the correct option for this question. Question 16. Which reaction is reversible? So we have copper reacting with zinc sulfate, producing copper sulfate and zinc. This is an irreversible reaction. We have copper oxide reacting with sulfuric acid, producing copper sulfate and water. This is also an irreversible reaction. We have copper oxide being reduced by hydrogen to copper metal and water. This is also an irreversible reaction. We have hydrated copper sulfate uh, converting into anhydrous copper sulfate by the removal of water. So this can be made reversible by addition of water. So as a result, option D is the correct option for this question. Question 17. Some nitrogen dioxide gas was put in a gas syringe. The end of the gas syringe is sealed. A reversible reaction occurs. The reaction reaches equilibrium. And we have the dark brown color of 2NO2 converting into the light yellow color of N2O4. The forward reaction is exothermic. Which statement about the reaction is correct? If the gas syringe is placed in a cold water bath, the color becomes darker. So since the reaction is exothermic, a decrease in temperature will favor the forward reaction. So it should not become darker. It should become lighter. If the gas syringe is placed in a hot water bath, the color becomes lighter. So this would favor the equilibrium in the backward direction, making it darker and not lighter. If the volume in the gas syringe is increased, the color becomes lighter. So volume is inversely proportional to pressure. If the volume increases, this results in a decrease in pressure. So a decrease in pressure will favor the side with the greater number of moles, which is the reactant side. So it should become darker. And if the volume in the gas syringe is decreased, if the volume is decreased and the pressure increase, the color becomes lighter. So an increase in pressure will favor the forward reaction making the color lighter. So as a result, option D is the correct option for this question. Question 18, the reaction between magnesium and carbon dioxide is shown in the equation. So carbon dioxide is reduced to carbon and magnesium is oxidized to magnesium oxide. Which statement describes what happens in this reaction? Carbon is oxidized? No. Carbon is reduced to elemental carbon. Uh, magnesium is reduced? No, magnesium is oxidized. Neither oxidation or reduction happens? No, both are happening. And the carbon in carbon dioxide is reduced? Yes, because it goes from an oxidation state of plus 4 to the elemental carbon having an oxidation state of 0. So this makes option D the correct option for this question. Question 19, which changes involve reduction? So in change one, we've got iodide ions being oxidized to iodine. So this is not it. In two, we've got copper ions being reduced to copper metal. So here we have reduction because the reaction is with hydrogen and addition of hydrogen is reduction. In three, we have got Al3 positive ion accepting three moles of electrons producing one mole of aluminum metal. Accepting electrons is also reduction. And in 4, we've got Pb2 plus and SO4 2 minus forming lead sulfate, having a 2 plus charge for the lead ion and a 2 negative charge for the sulfate ion. So neither oxidation or reduction is taking place in 4. Since changes 2 and 3 involve reduction, option C is the correct option for this question. Question 20. Barium hydroxide is an alkali. It reacts with hydrochloric acid. How does the pH of the hydrochloric acid change as an excess of barium hydroxide is added? The pH decreases from 14 and becomes a con uh, constant at 7. We are talking about hydrochloric acid. It cannot have a pH of anywhere from 7 and above. So it has to be less than 7. So this is incorrect. The pH decreases from 14 to about 1. Incorrect. 
the pH increases from one and becomes constant at seven? No, because barium hydroxide is added in excess. The pH must end at a value greater than seven so that it is in the alkaline region. And the last one, the pH increases from one to about 14. Yes, this is correct. Therefore, option D is the correct option for this question.